previously subsisting multiple delimiters. But now I have XML data. First of all, let's see what is XML data. I hope everyone knows XML data. If you not know, if you don't know also, see the data types. Here three columns is there. REC is the root node. REC is the end node. In the middle three columns is the name, gender, name, age, gender. Three columns is there. This three is the chains of REC. If you not know, see the data carefully. XML is coming like this only. This is the start node, starting node, REC, parent node, and this is the parent node ending here. In the middle, three chains is there. Name, age, gender. These three are the chains of REC node. Okay. How to load? How to load this data? How to clean this data into structure format? Before doing the practice, create a file is important. Creating file is important. How to create a file? Take my data example. Or else you do the Google. Googling. Take the some sample data. Loading into your Hive table also. Right? So, I am creating a file in my local file system. Again. Go to the VI or gedit. Anything is fine. XML data, create a file before doing any practice. Data is important. If you have the data, then only possible to practice. Right. So enter. Yes, I have already four records are available. I'm using the four records only. via XML data. So I want to see the data. Cat XML data. This is my data. I want to clean this data. How can I clean? Yes. For this XML data also, we have specially some functions are available. Special functions are available in a hive to cleaning especially this XML data only. What functions? Show functions. enter see xpath xpath boolean yes these are the xpath is the functions xpath are the functions especially to cleaning xml data xpath is a function to cleaning xml data okay what do you mean by xpath wait we will see but same four step strategy only again XPath, XPath, string, like this is a number of is there. By using those functions, we are cleaning this XML data with this four step strategy only. First, you create a single column table, load data completely into single column table. After that, yeah, first create single column table, load completely into single column table, then create a structure table here again. What do you mean by structure table here again? Yes, right now I have three jails is there. Name, age, gender. The three columns are required. Create a table. If you want two columns, two columns only. Real time, maybe we have 50 columns, 160 columns, 100 columns is there. If you want all the columns, create a table, all the columns in step three. And step four, override the data from step one table to step three table by using high functions. That's it, similar only, almost similar. Okay, so before going to the practical, let's see the functionalities. What function? Yes, these are the number of functions are available. What do you mean by XPath? Even we have the, is there in Java, XPath is there. SQL also we have the XPath functions are available. Describe. Function function name, XPath. 
enter yes simply xpath xml xpath returns a string array of values within xml nodes then the match the xpath expression that means what are the path we are mentioning similarly <coughs> today just we are, we are described like a function function of substring what we are doing we are mention column name here and positions here in substring time similarly here also column name and the path which path i want that path simply this x path returns xml value returns as a test format and substring for example x path to substring we have number of is there x path boolean double float long number short string Similarly, export the string. Enter. Not substring, only string. Export the string. Yes. It, similarly, same. What are the positions we are mentioned? That positions return text. It returns the XML value as a text format. And previously, array format. And if I go ahead with the integer, Simple returns integer format. That's it. If I go with the double, double format. Does not exist. One second. Yeah, double spell mistake. Returns a double value. That is the syntax. Step by step, how to clean an XML data. Yes, my file is clear, cat XML data. This is the file, is the local file system. Create, table, table name, Not required just for your clarity. I'm taking semicolon enter. Okay, and I'm loading data into this table X, XML tab where data is available. Data available here. What is the command to loading? Similar like a third arrow loading from local to hive table syntax is. Yes, it refer to the syntax. The starting, I agree. The starting is a little bit difficult to syntax, but later you can refer it. Load data, local in path, local file name. What is the local file name? XML data. Into table, table name, XML. Tab. Enter. Yes. Data loading successfully. I want to check it. Data loading or not. Select store from. What is the table name? XML. Tab. Enter. See, data loading and the second column is in nulls. That's why I am saying not required to take it. But anyway, you're taking it. Describe. See the schema. XML tab. Two columns are available. Column one, column two. So, two steps completed. Step three. What is step three? Step three means cleaning technique. Step three. Create a structure table. Required columns. So, Create table table name for example XML tab to now take meaningful names now for example name now so e name employee name sting 
employee age, e age, or age, anything is fine. Integer and the gender string, meaningful names I'm taking. If I don't want age, gender, remove it. I don't want age, not required to take. Why I'm taking this three only? Because my XML data, these three are only the chains. This three only the chains. That's why I'm taking. Enter. Table is created. Now I want to take this all names and pasting into here. Age pasting into here. All genders pasting into here. How can I? Yes. Step four. By using hive functions, we are going to overwrite it. Similar like our fifty arrow. What is fifty arrow? Insert overwrite, right? Similarly, same thing. Insert. Overwrite table table name XML underscore tab to select XPath string. This is the function we are taking. First of all, yes, the column name. What is the table? This is the table. In this this two table in this table, two columns is there. Which column name we want to give here? Call one because column one only data is there. REC, the single quotes general we are giving, REC, forward slash, that's it, comma, now, I, yes, age, no, so again, same thing, X path, string, call one, REC, age. Case sense to give the same name. If you give the different names, for example, capital A, capital A, if you're giving null loading. X path string call one comma or you see and the here six is there. That's what six from XML tab. Enter. So this is a complete query. What happened if I'm take call to Yes, previously throwing an error, but now there is no error, just simply null loading now because call to existing. That's when null is loading. Okay, enter. So if I press the enter, map routine started. Right, see, process completed. I want to see the data. Select store from XML tab to enter. Data, yes, properly loaded now. First column, second column, data is completely loaded clearly. So, what running behind the query, fifth query? See, first we have four steps is there. In this process, four steps is there. First three steps, there is no map reducing, but only fourth step map reducing running. Why? Important process, important query. Again, for example, select the star from XML tab two. There is no map reducing. Describe XML tab two. There is no map reducing. But select age, comma gender from XML. Tab to enter again. Map routing is running. So, my question is in our Hadoop, behind every hive query, map routing work is running, the process is running. Simply, yes, every hive query. There is no map is running. 
there is no MapReduce. Whenever you try to buffer the data, the data is there HDFS. Where this high tables data is available HDFS. So whenever you try to read the data, buffer the data, simple read, there is no MapReduce. Simple read, there is no MapReduce. Select to start from, there is no MapReduce. But select column names from table name, MapReduce is running. So, what is the data available HDFS? Those data, if you try to buffering, if you try to massaging, that time only MapReduce work is running. A simple read, there is no MapReducing. Remember, interview time helpful, this type of. Okay, that's where first to force, uh, yeah, simple select to start from, there is no MapReducing. This one is MapReducing. Okay, so now data is converting into structure format. After conversion, what we are going to do generally? Data once cleaning completed, we want to give the reports. We want to generate the reports. What type of reports we are going to generate? Depends on the data, we are going to generate different type of reports. Depends on the data, we are going to generate different type of reports. 